when you think about it, it's a lot of books. And we're not even going to talk about the books that I got on hold with Libby. We're not going to talk about those. Let, let's not even do that. So I'm a mood reader and I typically read, I kind of have like a list of books that I want to read because I have so many that are unread, but then, oops. But then I also try to make sure I get to a lot of my books, especially the ones that I've had for so long. So I kind of set like a TBR in that aspect. However, it's not a do it or die type of tbr it's a hey girl you've been having those books for a long time you might want to get to them type of tbr so the way that i do it is i read one ebook a month why because i'm downloading all of these free ebooks and i'm not reading them and i have a kindle <laughs> so i need to be ut utilizing my kindle right so i like to make sure i read one ebook a month y'all gonna be seeing me mess with this necklace a lot because it likes to turn around on its own but I like to read one ebook a month and then I have a book club, Booked and Busy Book Club, over on Instagram. It is Booked and Busy at Brandy. That is my bookstagram handle. And I have a virtual book club. So I like to make sure I read my book club pick, right? Then <laughs> I do a buddy read with my baby girl. We do one once a month or once every three weeks. Uh, we are doing it until summer break hits and they want summer break. We're going to take a break from that because she leaves every summer for the entire summer. And then um, if I do a buddy read with someone else, of course, I'm going to do a buddy read with someone else. So that's kind of how I set my TBR. Granted, nothing is set in stone, right? So I just wanted to come and show you guys my May hopefuls. <laughs> this is my first time doing it this is going to be the books that i plan to read hope to read and finish in the month of may now like i said at the beginning of this video i am a mood reader and i have noticed that some of the books that i have that i said i was going to read i have not so i might be picking some of those up too <laughs> but we'll see what i end up reading in my monthly wrap up so the first book that I am actually reading and I made it top priority because May is actually Latino Books Month is Big Chicas That Don't Cry. And I got this as a free download from Amazon. I think they were offering um, a free ebook from around the world and other countries. And this one was a selection so i selected this because i definitely wanted to get into more latino authors with latino main characters so this is my ebook plus my priority book the first read of the month it's so good so far i think i'm like on chapter 20 and it's very very good so my next read is an anticipated read of the year um and i i want to say i hope to get to it but i'm definitely going to get to this one it is this can be us by kennedy ryan i'm actually reading this one with my book club this month so it's definitely going to get read um, the next book I am going to read or I hope to finish this month in which I should because it's a buddy read is The Icebreaker. Now I have The Icebreaker entire series on my TBR for 2024. However, I just got the first book because I want to see if this is even a series I'm going to like because I love a good basketball um series or a basketball trope whatever i've never read a hockey one so i'm reading this with one of my close friends um and doing a buddy read with her and then if we like this or if i like this then i'm gonna go ahead and get the second book so those three books are my priorities for this month now these other ones are books that i've been saying i'm gonna read so i'm hoping i get to this month because child i don't know and mind you me and baby girl is about to go to the library right now and pick our buddy read so i'm not gonna be able to show it in this video but i definitely will show it in another video so the first book that i have on my hopefuls is the great gatsby 
it's a short read and that's why i pulled it out y'all it's about 184 pages now the reason why i added this to my hopefuls is because i bought this book some months ago from the goodwill bookstore and i've been trying to make sure i get to the books that i've been buying like i don't want to just buy a book and let it sit up for months and months and months and never get to it I hope I don't do that. So I've been trying to make it a point to pick from my older book selection as well. And this was just one of those books that I wanted to reread as an adult because I do remember reading it in high school, but I don't remember what it was about. So the next one is Ace of Spades, y'all. I was supposed to read this book last month. I kept on telling all of my bookish friends, I'm reading it in April, I'm reading it in April. It was actually one of the books that I knew I was gonna get for my birthday, but I never got to it. So I'm hoping I can get to this book um, in May. I really wanna get to this book in May because I really wanna chime into the conversation with everybody while the conversation is still piping hot. So we'll see. And so the last book on my May hopefuls is Magnolia Parks. Y'all, I've been saying I am going to read this book since March. And I knew I was going to get it for my birthday. And so I was like, I'm going to read it in April. Didn't read it in April. <laughs> I had so many other books that I wanted to get to. And this was definitely one of those books. So I'm hoping I can get to it this month. Because y'all, everybody keeps saying that it reminds me. It reminds them of Gossip Girl. And I'm a Gossip Girl stan. Like, that's my comfort show. I will watch it over and over and over again. And I heard there's no real plot in here. It's just a whole bunch of pettiness in this book um, and relationship pettiness. So I'm kind of in a mood for that this month. So I'm hoping I get to this one. And to circle back on this one, everybody was um, comparing this to Pretty Little Liars. That's another one of my comfort shows. Um, so that's why I was so hyped to get this book. So hopefully I get to these books this month because when you think about it, it's a lot of books and we're not even going to talk about the books that I got on hold with Libby. We're not going to talk about those. Let, let's not even do that because <laughs> let's not even do that. But I've been averaging nine books a month, so we don't know. We'll see. Y'all will see when I do my May wrap up. Y'all, let me know in the comments what you're hoping to read this month. Are you a mood reader like me? Because, child, these mood swings be getting in the way of my TBR, okay? <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this video. If you want to see more hopeful videos from me, give this video a big thumbs up because I know this is my first video and I was kind of hesitant on doing it because I don't want y'all to hold me accountable. I don't need no accountability partners. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll see y'all next time in another video. Peace out.